Okay, so Jantone here. So we are back with the number overture. Our friend Red just died in the other room. Pretty sad news, but hey, um, we have got this special door that we can't get open yet, and I guess we're trying to get there. This might actually be near the end here. I know there's a couple more after the more episodes after this or whatever, or a couple more. Is the same thing? Oh uh, yeah, no, it's not the same puzzle. Um, so I know there's been like, I know this has been, this is like, this, there's a division between the other games that starts with the more complex stuff. At least I think that's what goes on. So you never know. Maybe, maybe I um, I'm in it for that. Maybe I'm almost done here. Looks like I can't get through that door. However, is red? Um, can we can we open it? See what's in. He just um. Oh yeah. Well, that's um, that's grim. So he basically locked himself in the burning chamber and the the um. Yeah. And then freaking said, hey, you're only getting this key if you kill me. I'm not going to deny him, and I didn't, so hey. Um, red. The, uh, the door of liberty death. Let me die. Head is hurting. Okay, so this is where he's been transmitting. I see Red now sitting here, guiding me. I probably would be standing here now if it wasn't for him. Why did he... I... I have some kind of notification on my phone. Be right back. Wow, literally nothing of importance. <laughs> okay. I'm sitting here alone. Okay. We have drawers. More drawers. Uh, oh, note. My dearest friend, how are you? I am as well as can be expected. I have some sad news, though. A few days ago, there was some kind of collapse, and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. They may not look for me here, but if they do and they find me, I'll be in such trouble. <sighs> but I don't think I'll have to worry about that, because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mines for about three weeks now, and I'm really proud, of, proud that I, uh, I can send money home, but it's really tough work, and so far you're the only person that's really been nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. There's some friendly kind of creepy crawlies and some books I brought from home that I was uh, taking to the rec room. If you think about it, I was really quite lucky I had all this stuff with me. Otherwise, I'd be bored stiff. Uh, as, it, as it is, I have Shakespeare, uh, uh, Bernte, uh, I guess, N Nisk, I freaking can't. Dude, butchering names, my biggest thing, I'm just gonna not perfect bedtime reading although I suppose I might be trapped uh, trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice Although you used, used to uh, I always used to ask my mom how, how long people survive without food and things I read how, how some people can survive underwater for over five minutes and some people last in the desert for weeks but she always said you had three minutes of air three days of uh, three days of water, etc. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there are all sorts of creatures down here, but they're better off as my friend than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go cave crazy first. Neither sound too much fun, I guess, but if I had to choose, I'd say I want to go mad. It sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood. Proper mind worker, December 1970. That's red. Not red worker, red wood. Tom Redwood, age, age 14. Gosh, you've been down here for a while, man. That is. Is that the dog? Oh, yeah. You know how, man. Red managed to catch and kill this thing. It's quite clearly inedible. Poor guy must have been close to starving to death. Yeah. And then this is the bed. Don't suppose, um... Yeah, there's nothing we could find there. 
and this is a um, this is a save point. The chains out, chain on the chains on his arms are visible now. Now, not the not there out of choice. Father looks on aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hand, shaking hands. He knows, he knows what has come, what the man has released. The only one who could stop it. Howard knows the real fear. Gosh. Looks like there's a carbon copy of me inside the uh, artifact, except that's, except that there's no more than one, and they're not very good copies. Okay. Um, you've got. Oh, so he's tried to die. How many hours did he spend uh, with his neck in this noose, just trying to end it all? Yeah. Gosh dang, man. Well. We have a screwdriver. Let's not let this be our fate. We will continue on. We will escape this place. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it well. Jeez, from the stench, I think this may have been his toilet. Ugh. Yeah. Well, we are continuing on. Let us hope we make it further than our friend Red did. Can't get a hold of it. I need something to lever it open. Boom. As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through my head. Uh, I mean, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn into in two. Part of me I felt had died along with my only a ally and friend. His final words had had uh, raised more questions than he than answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head. Despite knowing deep down that the pain I had caused caused Red was itself all that I could, all I, all that I could have offered him, I was alone again. But I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed stayed where I was. W would trade, I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. But the other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in the in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to find my father's fate and that uh, and that he was inextricably linked to to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until that point was just systematic of whatever lay beyond the threshold. I know now I was right. Okay, this place is definitely freaking gooch in comparison to the last place. Welcome to the shelter, established 1973. After the freaking collapse with N Red? You freaking kidding? How does that work? Elevated cast for sh chief staff 6, lower cast 39, temporary 8, low population, total population 15 to 7. Key members, so and so. Please have your identification identification documents ready. Well, I don't have any. I'm not supposed to be here either, but hey. No one's here to stop me, really. So, I'm going to continue on. I don't suppose I could just um, slam this open? Yeah, no, that's not really the case. I This is still openable? Yeah. Can't get that hose or whatever. No. No, thank you. So. <laughs> no. No. I hate it! I hate every last thing about this. <laughs> um... There is... A vent. Okay. I need to get out of here. Come on, break. Come on, break, man. I'm only a trash.
attracting attention at this point. Wow. Um. I can't use my flashlight. I only have the glow stick. Great. Locked. Locked. This, this is horrible. Okay. Just been captured. That the man who had first descended into the mine was no more, and so began the, my next chapter to be continued. The number overture, episode one. So this was the end. That's one heck of a freaking ending, man. It was one thing to, I mean, I mean, the ending where they pulled me in. I guess that's not anything crazy new, but like walking. There's just already a freaking guy down the hallway. Then the lights turn off, and I'm shut in. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, this playthrough of Penumbra Overture as much as I did. This was a great game. I I can't believe I haven't gotten around to playing it earlier, but honestly, it's, I guess that's how it is. On my channel right now, I am focusing primarily on, I guess, Minecraft and old horror games in a lot of ways. So if you want to support me in that, I guess subscribe and like and whatever. I mean, liking helps, but like, I'm a small channel, so I don't know how much that would help. If you truly want to support, just subscribe, man. I do this for fun. I don't know how active I'll be. I'm trying to get back into it more often now. But I constantly have a full schedule where I just can't work on crap. Either way, though, um... I'm really thankful for everyone who does watch these videos. My last playthrough of Amnesia did not get any views really, and I'm really, I'm really quite happy that um, my recent, like, just about every video on Penumbra has gotten at least a couple of views, and that's great, man. I love it. It's awesome, man. Um, but for now, that I guess concludes the first chapter of Penumbra Overture. I've been Jan 3 and I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Penumbra Overture. See you in the next one. Peace.